वेलकम फ्रॉम टुडे रिमेंबर एवरी थिंग शुड बी टेकन सीरियसली फॉर दोज हु वॉन्ट टू गेन स्ट्रक्चरल नॉलेज लास्ट टाइम आई गेव इंट्रोडक्शन टू टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स आई विल टेल नाउ बिफोर गोइंग दैट साइड आई विल डिवाइड इन टू फॉर फोर पार्ट्स पार्ट वन इज फॉर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड पार्ट टू इज फॉर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यू डी एल और यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड पार्ट थ्री इज फॉर अगेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड रेप्रसेंटेड बाई ए ट्रैंगल पार्ट फोर विल बी वंस अगेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड रेप्रसेंटेड बाई ए ट्रपीजियम इन बिटवीन दे विल बी सम एक्स्ट्रा क्लासेस पवरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट आई विल टेल वाट लिट लेटर यू कैन मेक अवट इन बिटवीन ई विल नॉट रईट हेडिंग लाइक टाइप ऑफ लोड सम पवरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट नौ वी आर स्टार्टिंग टाइप ऑफ लोड पार्ट वन कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड और पॉइंट लोड बट लिव इट जस्ट कीप इट असाइड before we consider all type of loads means this is not only for point load this is for entire type of loads that is for point load what i am telling here is for point load udl uvl either in represented by a triangle or by a trapezium first most important concept uh, something i will dictate in the class see as i told you everything i cannot write here story all i will tell something in the class what see you should write what we require whether it is a point load or any type of distributed load udl uvl anything what we require here is one magnitude of the load magnitude see i will move the hand now this way two direction i wrote lightly because direction you can make out by looking only down up like that we will not bother too much about direction three line of action very powerful line of action of the load there is one more point i wrote earlier point of application that will come in structural engineering not right now next fourth one the most powerful moment about any required point these four should be come completely understood before i start here completely you have to understand now i today's class number i don't know i will make a note and write somewhere there which every class i can see it i i, do, I think it is class number 62 i think most probably 62 i think engineering mechanics class 62 part 2 class 22 i 21 or 22 i will make a note reason i will tell now each and every class i cannot tell it this is something like advice or warning you can take whatever you want what all i tell you have to listen not skip half way through simply see something skip and go further no you will lose some important concept each and everything should be thoroughly understood there should be absolutely no doubt if required repeatedly go through and make all the notes you should those who are preparing notes yourself only prepare all the notes even others also those who take the notes from me also i will tell some important point right from the class that a uh, secondary now now later stages whenever some concept comes i will tell class number so and so what i told go back and see advice come warning first of all if something is not clear for somebody and he will tell this is not properly explained he can't tell me directly in the comment section he can tell let him tell but i will not bother i have got, my responsibility i am completely fulfilling therefore each and everything you have to thoroughly understand this is a advice come warning later if you get any difficulty you are to blame yourself only 
for not going through entire class each and everything you have to go through now okay that's all further i will not tell every each and every class i cannot tell this one but i will mention there see what i told in the starting of so and so class number okay now before we consider all these first let me make the space clear and then explain the secondary concept second concept not secondary second concept this will be there for some time now we'll continue in today's class there will be lot of such uh, pausing and uh, coming back because i have to write a little big big now see consider a load here see arrow mark now i am going to tell something from now today onwards up to end of structural engineering study when you tell load what should come to your mind is don't bother about point load yeah. this can be for point load or any type of distributed load underline it important what i what i am telling now is not for point load it can be either for point load or for any type of distributed load not only for point load see when you tell magnitude of the load your hand should move this way see when the hand moves this way load see load or force see if it is udl you don't call force it is intensity so what you have to do when you use the word magnitude of the load hand should move vertical load means this way horizontal load means this way see arrow mark should come sometimes arrow mark we won't write you have to imagine it you are right in the brain okay therefore this is the magnitude of the load say right now w it can be a point load i am not telling point load now this is a magnitude and see this is line of action no space right here right line of action of that load of that load line of action of that load now so one point is magnitude i told here line of action is here see this is line of action point of application right now we are not bothered next i told most powerful moment about any point see everything slowly i am telling some people will be knowing it they will tell this are we know if you know it but i know the limitation in general moment about any point equal to see here magnitude of the load your hand when you find moment you should write it first your hand should move like this when the hand moves like this it will complete magnitude of the load then multiplied by see one dot i am writing here this actually i should not write but i am writing just because to make out see i will tell you when you go to udl sometimes you will write moment 6 into 4 etc this into is not this moment into this is converting what intensity of udl to total load for triangle etc you may write half into 6 into 4 Two into sir there. No, I will use a bracket. Once I complete the bracket, I will tell. Now this is the load. Now for moment you require into. See, this bracket will give the load. So it is magnitude of the load into perpendicular distance from that point. From which point? once you write moment about any point one point is selected now from that point means you can write here see from that point means actually should not write that is about which about which we consider moment 
we can see our movement. Hope it is not out of camera. One minute. Sometime it happens. Space problem here. I made little enlargement. Okay, no problem. That point about which we can see our moment. See, perpendicular distance from that point to line of action of the load. Now remember, I will tell something in the class. If the load is this way, distance is this way. See, load into distance or if the load is this way, this is the distance. This is all I told earlier in engineering mechanics. Therefore, perpendicular distance. Now, one more thing. If the load is, I will not repeat again and again. If the load is vertical, distance is horizontal. If the load is horizontal, distance is vertical. Remember. Now, perpendicular distance from that point to line of action of the load. See, I told some load here. Okay, now, therefore, for this case, if you want moment about O1, see, now you can do one thing. Let line of action of the load pass through a point O. Now, just randomly select a point O1 here, select a point O2, randomly. From O1 to this, from O1 to this line of action, drop perpendicular. Let it be H1. From O2 to the line of action, drop perpendicular. Let it be H2. Now, from O, drop perpendicular to this line of action. No, you cannot drop. Or perpendicular equal to 0. So, 1. I will tell you it later now. So, now, moment about O1 equal to, when you, you should write it. When you want moment about a point, use one finger. You should keep the finger there. Don't move the finger now. Finger is still there only. See, load W into from this point to line of action of the load from this point, not from there, from here to this one. This distance, H1. And it is like this. That's all. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, I won't tell too much now because sometimes if it is a clockwise, for equilibrium, you consider positive. But for bending moment, when you look that side, it may become negative. There you don't consider clockwise, anti-clockwise. You consider sagging, hogging. Therefore, right now, I will show arrow mark here. See? This way. Okay. Now, moment about O. O. Your force is passing to that point. Therefore, W is the load into 0, 0. Or, now make a note here. You write, this already given, moment of a force load about any point which lies in its line of action is always zero. Okay, now next, moment about O2, come here. Come here. W load into H2. This way. See? This way. This is a moment. And remember, load is in force, load has got force unit, moment has got distance unit. So, when you tell the force, load, it should be Newton, kilo Newton, etc. When you tell moment, it should be Newton meter, kilo Newton meter, Newton millimeter, kilo Newton millimeter or force into distance. This all I told earlier. This is how to find take moment about any point. Remember, this W is not point load now. It is magnitude of the load. So, it can be either for point load or distributed. Somebody may ask, how is the point load? No, no, you write here. In case of point load, correct, it is point load only. If it is distributed load, this load is total load or resultant load for the loaded length considered, this all I will tell one by one in stages. See, I will go very, very slowly. Some people may feel boring. Okay, let them feel bored. But those people who correctly understand everything, they will not feel boring. If I tell 100 times, sometime in my class, they will tell, Sir, you tell 10 times same thing, sir. We are happy. Why? We are learning more and more. That attitude should be there. That when someone is teaching, 
whatever he tells we should follow okay now this part is over now now i will come back to point load or concentrated load okay now continue i remove the line here type of loads part 1 concentrated load or point load that is load acting through a point now more about this how a load can act through a point i will not discuss here i will discuss in strength of materials actually for your information strictly speaking it is not possible to have a point load because when you apply a load there should be some contact length therefore the load will be spread for that length but remember i just give a small example suppose it is a member is like this member is like this and over a very small contact point if some load is transferred see very small contact point contact length then you can consider it as a point load i will give a small example for you just to understand i stay in bangalore if i am in bangalore bangalore is not a point it is spread huge area i have to walk around bangalore huge area but if i consider bangalore city if i consider our state karnataka state then bangalore again is not a point but it is considered the state area it will be little small area it will tend to become like a point if i consider full indian map there karnataka itself is quite small there bangalore is very very small usually people put a dot there or if i put the indian map maybe it is slightly like this okay but if i consider the entire world then it is very difficult to mark bangalore area so what people will do bangalore for that matter if you consider our galaxy our entire world also will be a point remember or if you consider universe even our galaxy milky way or andromeda or some other galaxy that also will become a point so it depends on that contact length of the load compared to length of member suppose there is a beam see there is a beam here i'll show a beam for you a beam is a beam here suppose there is a load acting transparent like this now it is not point load see you can see that contact length is quite visible so it will be somewhat distributed load but if on this beam a secondary beam will rest here small beam if it transfers a load now this contact length is so small compared to length of the beam so you can call a point load so theoretically actually point load you will tell but practically a point load is not possible but when the contact length is is very very small compared to length of member we can take it as a point load like i told bangalore to be marked in world map or our earth to be marked in galaxy point over now see remember now a concentrated load or point load is defined directly by its magnitude i'll give example directly by magnitude you should write something here that is what to be call that itself is the load this all you are right you should write all this for example a question given a po- i will tell point load now to save the time concentrated load takes more more time a point load w means w is magnitude a point load of 80 kN yes it is a point load magnitude so it is defined directly by its magnitude and there will be a 
on the member considered there is a contact point here now see this is this is what you can call line of action of point load point load i save the time it's a writing concentrated load i will call point load now to save the over now this all is right here now class the first you write this way don't bother about x1 x2 see time being i told w see say w negative say w sometime some use they use the symbol p also okay that is your choice any symbol will do i will call capital remember preferably i use capital letter i use capital letter for point load because i will use small letter for udl okay that is letter now class i am dictating something we already defined the magnitude we already marked the line of action we already marked the point which lies in its line of action now consider two points see that point is called b see i call the point b why b means my choice i will call any point okay b now one point on the left side one point on right side you select say a and b let the point a be at x1 from here let the point c be at x2 from here don't by heart when i go to next example this can become a this can become b. it will change do not by heart a b c d okay now write all the statement now write now we want see first we want number 1 magnitude of the load w i will not waste time direction i will mark here in future i will do one thing to save the time in the bracket this means vertically down okay over magnitude with the direction next line of action line of action of load passes through the point b okay crystal clear magnitude over direction over line of action over now we want moment about any required point now we will find moment about a point on this side one point that side one point here start moment moment of what how many last sir moment of what can't you see what i am doing we are considering point load what you, are, you want me to waste time writing every time moment of that load if i consider a load w if i tell anything it is everything is for that load w don't waste time i will tell sometimes someone asked me Sir, if you tell moment means moment of what? What you are doing? Point load. That only. Sometimes I should be harsh. So moment. Okay, write here if you want. Moment of that. You write here. Moment of that load. You add if you want. About the point A. I told you. Put the finger at A. First I told you moment means load. Point load directly W. into which into moment into into from a to this line of action perpendicular distance x1 it is not b to a it is what it from a to b that also important x1 is from a to b not b to a be very careful i will tell you one more thing now see it later i will tell you suppose agar let later i will tell okay okay over that is moment is like this moment about b already i told zero moment about c w into x2 like this so i will tell once again when you want to moment now onwards you should put your point where figure your finger at the point where you want moment load your hand should move like this load that is magnitude of the load multiplied by said the chuke dot into into from the point about which you want moment distance perpendicular distance from that point to line of action of the load i will not tell again and again again and again this one now okay this is also over now i will take up a numerical example last to conclude this one consider a numerical example 
right here numerical example class you consider a load of 20 kilo newton i think it is external clear visible i'll put here now this is 20 kilo newton this is line of action i marked see this way 20 kilo newton acting through a point c as shown in figure c so that for class is only about what 20 kilo newton vertically down acting through a point c is the class then first of all magnitude of the load 20 kilo newton i cannot tell each and every class in point load whatever you are seeing is magnitude over direction down notebook loa line of action of the load passes through the point c okay magnitude over direction over line of action over now we want moment see now moment now moment for that see come here right class i will dictate something you consider a point at 3 meter to left of c call it b see i told don't buy her a b c d i can tomorrow put a here b there a, B, C, D, if you buy heart, you are not studying subject. Considering another point, D, at 4 meter to right of C. Then also, consider one more point, A, to left of C, after B, further left side by 2 meter. One more point, right of D, after D, further by 2.5 meter. I will tell you why I am taking it. Okay, start. Now, one by one, first I want moment about B. Right here, if you want to write not moment about B, moment of that point load of 20 kilo newton, if you are that much serious, right here. See, good. If you write that way, that shows you dedication. Every time, moment of that point concentrated or point load of 20 kilo newton about B, very good. Put finger here. Load 20. No, see, point load, I don't use bracket. 20 load over into 3. That much load in kilonewton, distance in meter, that much kilonewton meter clockwise. Sorry, not clockwise. This way. Okay, sorry. No clockwise today. Okay, no problem. Today you can talk clockwise because till you reach SFD and BMD or bending moment later, you will be always calling clockwise anti-clockwise. Once you go to BMD, I will give strict warning there. Okay, okay I will tell clockwise. Clockwise. Moment about C. 20 into 0 equal to 0. Moment about D. 20 into 4. See, I see, see my hand now. Finger should be here. 20 into 4. How 4? D to C4, not C to D4. Equal, the answer not required. If you want, right here, 20 into 3 is 60 kilo newton meter. This is 80. Answer is not required. That much kilo newton meter anti clockwise. Okay, now, actually, right here, enough. Enough. But still, also, still, for one reason, I want it. Moment about A. In the class, I will ask the students. Tell the answer. 20, okay, they all will tell, yes sir, into how much? They will tell 5. I will ask them, where is 5? Sir, 2 plus 3, 5 or 3 plus 2, 5. You tell me what is on the board. You don't tell me answer, sir. Then they will tell 20 into, they will tell either 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. Make a note, they will tell See, 20 into, I, now bracket required, either 2 plus 3 or they will tell 20 into 3 plus 2. I will ask them, both are same? Yes, sir. No. From what I explained, what way I want the concept to in you to improve and gain maximum level, you should stick to one concept. What I told you? If I want moment here, load into perpendicular distance from the point 
two line of action of the Lord. Sir, then it is two prasthi. Yes, tell that way. This is correct, I will tell. This is not wrong. No. Sometime, mathematics, I will ask. See. Two, three times. Or three, two times. Answer. Sir, six. Oh, you have what fast answer. I will ask them. Both are same or not? Sir, both are same. I will tell for somebody who got a basic mathematical knowledge that is a grip on the mathematics. I think I have got it. I told you already earlier. All this knowledge I have got, everything is due to my mathematical grip only. I will tell no. If you tell two, three times, it is six correct. How six? Two. 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 How much? Six, sir. If you tell three, two times, three, three. How much? Six. Sir, both are same. Both answer may be same, but for my mind, if someone will ask two, three times to the my brain, two will flash three times. Two, two, two. If somebody will ask me three, two times, in my brain a flashing will come. Three and three, some group. See, I first case I can see some two, anything, two books or anything, two books or two pen or two rupees, anything. Two, two, two. Next time I can see three, three. This is called mathematics. The grip should come. Therefore, remember, I told moment about A means force into your hand should start moving from here. Two plus another three. Bracket required now. 2 plus another 3. You should write here. This is the magnitude. This is the distance. Answer is in kilo newton meter clockwise. Same way. Moment about E. I will ask the students how much? Sir, 20. Okay. Into. Sir, 2.5 plus 4, sir. Okay. Or 4 plus 2.5. Correct? No, sir. Why? They already know the mistake. It is not wrong. I will tell. Both are same. No, no, sir. It, I, we thought it is same, now it is not same. So if you want moment about E, it is load into 2.5 plus another 4. Bracket 2.5 plus 4, close. Kilo Newton meter anti-clockwise. Okay. This will complete point load or concentrated load. That is our part 1. Next class will not be part 2. Next class will be Preparation for distributed load. And there, one or two classes I require. How to get the total load, how to decide line of action, different type of distribution, rectangle, triangle, trapezium, how to find area, how to locate centroid, that all will come, if possible, in one class or two classes. I will put title. See, today's title is what? Part 1, concentrated load. Tomorrow will be what? Preparation for UDL. Something I will think at that time. Important concept required for distributed load, not UDL, distributed load. Then I will tell, after one or two classes, I will start part two. I will put title, distributed load in the form of UDL. Next, another part three, distributed load in the form of uniformly varying load, represented by a triangle. Then, part four, distributed load in the form of UVL, represented by a trapezium. So, systematically we will go. That's why I told, study each and everything. Gain maximum knowledge. What all I am telling, you should accept it and believe. I should not tell that way. See, in this complete course, what all I tell, you have to believe. No other way. And you can believe me. Nothing to worry. By this time, you can make out. Therefore, correctly study everything. Make a note. Maybe some will tell very slow, go high speed, I told. But do not skip anything. Later I will tell you, if you got difficulty or confusion, you have to blame yourself. I told in class number, I will make a note today. I will write somewhere there in the roof, hang a paper. That warning class is class number so and so. Okay, thank you. We will meet next time.